Hi, good morning. Today we are going to learn about flowcharts in 10th class biology. Let us observe the different types of questions based on the flowcharts. First one, arrange the words in correct way. Esophagus, rectum, buccal cavity and stomach. Second one, fill the empty boxes with suitable words. Third one, draw a block diagram showing the pathway of digestive system in human beings. Fourth one, what is the passage or pathway of food in digestive system? Now we are going to answer the first question. There are four words, esophagus, rectum, buccal cavity and stomach. These are not in correct order. Observe here. This is the correct order. So the answer is buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach and rectum. Likewise, we can answer this type of questions easily. Then second question. Observe here, there is a flowchart with two empty boxes. Which words are suitable for these empty boxes? First one is esophagus and second one is duodenum. Then third question, passage of food through digestive system is Mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, duodenum, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. The pathway of air in respiratory system is nostrils, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchioles and alveolus. This flowchart belongs to aerobic and anaerobic respirations. In both the respirations, one glucose molecule is break down into two pyruvates. This process is called glycolysis. So glycolysis occurs in both aerobic and anaerobic respirations. Then pyruvate break down into carbon dioxide and water molecules in the presence of oxygen. It is nothing but aerobic respiration. Usually, it occurs in plants and animals. In the absence or low amount of oxygen, pyruvate breaks down into lactic acid molecules. It occurs in bacteria and sometimes in muscles. In sometimes, in the absence of oxygen, pyruvate breaks down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Usually, it occurs in yeast. It is nothing but fermentation. Let us observe the flowchart of double circuit circulatory system. Systemic aorta carries the blood from heart to all parts of the body except lungs. Superior vena cava and inferior vena cava collect this blood and send it into the heart. Then this blood carried by pulmonary artery from heart to lungs. Then this blood collected by two pulmonary veins and send it into the heart. This is the pathway of blood in human beings.
This is the double circuit circulatory system present in the textbook. Let us label the parts. Systemic aorta, inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. This is single circuit circulatory system in fish. The pathway of waste materials is body parts, blood, dorsal aorta, renal artery, kidney, ureter, bladder, urethra and outside. Here there is a question. Rearrange the words in a correct way. The words are DCT, collecting tube, PCT, Bowman's capsule and loop of Henley. These words belong to nephron. Observe here. Now the answer is Bowman's capsule, PCT, loop of Henley, DCT and collecting tube. Now we are going to draw a flow chart that shows nervous system. The human nervous system is studied under two divisions, central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of brain and the spinal cord, while peripheral nervous system is further divided into somatic nervous system and autonomous nervous system. Somatic nervous system consists 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Autonomous nervous system has two parts, sympathetic and parasympathetic. Now, the flowchart that shows brain parts. Brain has three divisions. Forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Forebrain consists three parts. Olfactory lobes, cerebrum and diencephalon. Midbrain has optical lobes. Hindbrain has two parts. Cerebellum and medulla oblongata. This is one of the textbook question in fifth lesson belongs to reflex arc. When we step on a sharp edged object, sensory nerve carries the information from skin to spinal cord. Then spinal cord analyze information and send commands. Then Motor nerve carries the information from spinal cord to effector organ. Finally, effector organ shows response. This flowchart shows the life cycle of flowering plant. The passage of spermatozoa in male reproductive system is seminiferous tubules. Vasa efferentia, epididemis, vasa differentia, ejaculatory duct, urethra and outside. Once again rearrange the words in a correct way. G2 phase, S phase, M phase and G1 phase. These words belong to cell cycle. Observe here. So, the answer is G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase and M phase. The order of different phases in cell division is prophase, 
metaphase, anaphase and telophase. This is the flowchart of human evolution. Diopithecus, Ramapithecus, Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis, Homo sapien and modern man. This is the flowchart of food chain and some examples. Okay, children, study well, grow well, be a good citizen and proud to be an Indian. Thank you.